Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we are jumping back into Last Claudia, not so much for whether or not I think this game is worth playing in 2021, but rather sort of a new type of video, a video I've never really done here on the channel. So if you guys actually kind of like this content, then let me know down below and also make sure to the like button because that helps out a lot, lets me know that you guys are enjoying these videos. And so here's the thing about Last Claudia. Now the video that I want to do, it's not like a review on this game. It's not me saying, you know, do I think this game is worth playing in 2021? It's rather me kind of just checking the game out because there's been some interesting developments with this game that I honestly didn't personally expect. Now, when the game first initially launched, I was actually pretty hyped for it. I loved the art style for it. I thought the combat looked really interesting. Everything about the game just like screamed a game that I was going to really enjoy. And so I jumped into it, I liked it, but then the hype for the game really fell away quickly because the developers made some choices, or I guess the producers made some choices that honestly weren't the best. Monetization choices, should I say, towards like banners and updates and things like that, that the player base for this game kind of fell away really quickly and the hype for it just ultimately just disappeared. And so it's been a while since I've actually played this game. But here's the interesting thing behind it is I've seen the game release a lot of updates lately. I keep track of a lot of games and stuff and I've noticed that this game has done a lot of updates. One of the major updates I just did is a collaboration with Devil May Cry and I was like, oh, hey, that's a pretty cool, you know, idea. But I wasn't super hyped about it. I wasn't really interested in downloading it. But then I started seeing people talking about how there was an influx of new players into the game. So I decided to download the game, jump into it, and see if the game had significantly improved since the last time I checked it out to see why there was an influx of players. Now, I'm going to have a screenshot of my phone on the screen for you guys right now. Now, if you have a Galaxy device, I use a Samsung Galaxy S10, and it's kind of cool because you can see the population numbers for people that play these games on relatively newer Galaxy devices. Now, it's not going to show uh, population numbers for older Galaxy devices, uh, you know, people that play on emulators, other Android devices, or even on iOS devices. So you can't necessarily say this is the exact population numbers for this game, but it does give us a glimpse into how the population for a game like this kind of fluctuates. And you can see over the last month, the game has basically tripled its player base. And I thought that was really, really interesting. And it was the main reason why I decided to download the game and jump back into it. Cause I wanted to see like, What's the reason why people are now jumping back into the game? You could, you know, attribute that to the collaboration event with Devil May Cry. And it was a good event. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I participated in it a little bit. I was thinking about doing a video for it, but I decided to just kind of wait till that kind of died off and then jumped into the game and, uh, and show you guys what's going on with the game as of right now without a collaboration event. And so since coming back into the game, I have noticed there has been a lot of changes that I don't remember since the last time that I played, which may be reasons as to why people are now jumping in and, and playing it right now. Now, one of those things is this trading space. Now, I don't remember this since the last time that I played it, but this is something that I personally really, really love in gacha games. It's when events allow you to basically play the events over and over, kind of grind or whatever, go through the story to get tokens, which you can then exchange in shops for specific items that you want. Now, this game, this is something that I don't remember the last time that I played, and there's so far, there's there's a lot going on. You can see there's a lot of events going on in the game right now. Valentine's events, they even have uh, events for the recent uh, Devil May Cry collaboration if you have stuff left over from the event that you can continue to trade. In fact, I still have summoning tickets from that event. It's kind of interesting to see that the game, at least to me, has become a lot more rewarding. Like, I feel like I want to play more because there's a lot more stuff to kind of trade and a lot more things to unlock in the game since the last time that I played. Now, this may not be one of the main reasons why people are jumping back into the game or playing it, but it definitely looks like a positive direction for Last Claudia to at least give people more options to upgrade their characters by getting, you know, be, uh, souls and stuff for their characters. I remember that was kind of a problem before uh, to be able to have more rewarding items and more direction towards what players actually want to do uh, where they can kind of spend their resources. And so even if you go and look at the events that are currently going on in the game right now, these limited events, they have this brand new one called the Prologue to the Future. I haven't played it yet. I may do a video on it. I don't know. It's still something kind of up in the air. Like I said, this isn't kind of a deep dive review or whatever. It's just more of like an interesting kind of like, look at this game. It's doing a lot better than I realized. Uh, they have a Redux event going on right now. I think this is one that they did before. So if you guys want to jump in and, and play an event that you may have missed, it, it looks like it's come back. The prologue event is uh, like their big main event that's kind of going on right now that has a lot of stuff that you can unlock. And I remember too, like 
When it came to the summoning in this game, I wasn't a big fan for the fact that you get arcs along with the characters, but just playing the game just barely, jumping into it, I actually already unlocked one of the Devil May Cry characters like insanely fast. And so this is Nero. This is what I, I can't even remember how I unlocked it. I think I got him completely for free, just like jumping into the main storyline or something. It was kind of wild, uh, but I, I love it when games do that. I love it when games give you the characters for free and then like you have to spend the time to power them up. But even like with the recent Devil May Cry stuff that's kind of going on or uh, that just finished, I even have tickets still left over that if I wanted to do a couple of Devil May Cry uh, summons, I could. And these these tickets that I got you, by the way, I, I only played like one day of the collaboration. I didn't even invest a lot of time and I already got like, I think I got somewhere on like 12 tickets just for the Devil May Cry thing, which was kind of good. Like it's showing that the game is getting a lot more rewarding since the last time that I remembered. Now, I do want to get your guys' opinion on this game, but I only want to get your like newer opinion. Like if you're somebody that's jumped into the game recently, I'd love to get your thoughts down below in the comments on whether or not you think it has improved or it hasn't. And if you guys decide to even download the game and jump into it, I would love to get your thoughts. Like whether or not you guys stuck with the game or whether or not you still aren't very interested in it. Like I want to get your guys' thoughts because clearly something is going right with this game. For them to be able to kind of triple their player base in the last month is pretty dang good. Now I'm not saying like the player base is going to stick around. Like again, like they could kind of go away and it may be just like a fluke for like the Devil May Cry. Maybe they just got really lucky for that event or whatever. But for a game to be able to do that, it's actually really impressive. Now I worked for a mobile gaming company. I've seen the population numbers. I've seen how population like collaboration events and big major updates for games affect population. And whatever they did, whether or not Devil May Cry is really, really popular among their fans or whatever, they did something right. Now, there is a lot of issues still with the game since last time I played. There are still paid banners, which I hate paid banners, but they're still there. But at least they have free versions of those banners. The only difference I've seen is you get these uh, hero credentials medals and stuff like that if you do it on the paid ones rather than the free ones. And then, yes, they still have step up banners. I don't think they have any right now. But they did have some, oh yeah, here's one right here. So this step up banners. I know that was a big issue too. A lot of people weren't a big fan of the step up banners, but there you guys go. Just kind of an, an interesting video. One, I wanted to kind of get your guys' take on it, whether or not you guys are still playing this game, whether this is something interesting. Now, if you guys want to see videos like this where I kind of go through and break down my thoughts on games and recent updates or events, whether like their populations have increased, whether their populations have decreased, whether I think they're heading in a good direction, a bad direction. Let me know if you guys want to see videos like this in the future. Well, friends, thanks so much for watching today's video. And again, if you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like would be super appreciated. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, then make sure to hit the subscription button uh, so you guys can stay up to date with the latest in everything mobile gaming. Well, friends, my name's Coolio and I'll see you next time.